This is your mega mega sensitive Geiger counter, right, John? You got that right. <laughs> Uh, compliments of uh, nuclear physicist Dr. Peter Kokoschnik, Austria, gave me this the wide band monitor for any kind of issues with nuclear reactions. Mm -hmm. So, it's picking up ambient stuff here. It's very clicky, let's put it that way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's to monitor a huge amount of territory. Like mm -mm -mm. So uh, this would be in a nuclear power plant, perhaps. Shield is, so if there's one point, that would be a concern to the uh, <laughs> physicists working it. Has it got a sensitivity adjustment on the side? Uh, this thing I made in a, in a um, storage locker, because uh, the lady I was with at the time in um, didn't want anything in the apartment. So yeah, yeah. I came up there with radio jack stuff and such a thing together. Yep. It's all batteries inside. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So, can you run me through? We've got some waveguides here, and you've got hydrogen line being fed into those, right? Uh, the frequency, yeah. Yeah. Um, the hydrogen line uh, comes from this generator, which is a mm -hmm. radar test that yeah. used uh, by the Navy. So I can dial in any kind of frequency I want and any type of waveform I want. Mm -hmm. And above it is a countermeasure system, off of warship that goes to this piece here. And uh, that I can adjust to as well. A lot of inputs and outputs on it. And then next is... Uh, you got a Variac there, what are you using that for? That Variac drives a high voltage transformer down to the very end of the ray gun, which yeah. operates around the ball. And what I don't have here, which I did have a couple of years ago, the mm -hmm. static generator. So I'll load this whole thing with static energy. So Charles is going to get a uh, ion generator. Which cool. And so these very long waveguides here. Oh yeah. What, what's the thinking behind them? Uh, well, setting up standing waves and that kind of stuff was in my head. Whether yep. Uh, the idea I got off of warships because they got this size going all the way up to the superstructure. Oh, they have, have they? Oh yeah. All oh, right. Okay. So y you saw this and you thought, let's implement it with the equipment, right? Yeah. 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 I studied a lot of the uh, main radar systems on the, on the ship. And yeah. TLC TV showing me taking apart uh, the main radar. <laughs> and what's the thinking behind these insulated uh, discs? Are we uh, look, like setting up some resonance there? or? No, not really. That's just electrostatic accumulation. Oh, okay. That's what I use those for. Uh, so is that, that why, do you need to be in a dry environment for collecting this? or? Yeah, that's really good to be in a dry environment. And at the sit at the... Um, the other area the other area was very dense. Being on the coast. On the coast, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just would collect oil and water, oddly enough, all over it. And oh really? Yeah, and if you touch the surface here you can see that uh, okay. the medium is kinda of rough. So so the salty water was uh corroding it to a degree. Uh, I think it was only water, but it seem to want to collect water on this thing and also uh, oil and where the oil came from I really don't know so these stack static accumulators is there any reason for the distance between here is that important no I like dividing up electric static and negative positive okay so is this is effectively insulated yeah this is plastic pipe okay and what's what's the role of the coils here uh, that's where I can attach the RF that's why I want to okay this, uh, Long way, mostly long ways in VLF and medium ways. Okay. Uh, so and then you've got the are these waveguides as well? These very long cylindrical sections? No, these are su main supports, but they're antenna. Antenna, and yeah, um, for what kind of frequency ranges? Uh, VLF. I put them in series and parallel. Okay. And they're all insulated from one another. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of a, a left behind experimental piece, which I might connect up. I don't know yet. Actually, a large um, electrostatic cathode ray tube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, actually, what I'm going to do, I think, is. Oh, you just got got it pointing at the wall. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What I'm going to do is connect up the. Uh, the uh, 
The HV lines there. Uh, no, it's that generator. Oh, okay. This is a broadcast FM antenna. Uh, 100 uh, megapixels FM frequency modulation. Mm hmm. Uh, and the thinking behind that is just to mix that in with the VLF and the yeah, hydrogen line. Spur metal, see what yeah. happens. Some, yeah. Sometimes nothing happens, sometimes life happens. Yeah, yeah. This is essentially an antenna mm -hmm. here, sitting on this piece here, which is, when it turned on, this is loaded high voltage, but nothing happens here. Really. Oh, it accumulates a lot of more stuff there, okay. <laughs> So do you actually have the plasma ball running or? Um, it's not running, no. Okay. But there is ambient energy in it. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, here we got all our signal generators and if needed RF amplifiers, which I do. Mm-hmm. Can't really pick up the energy. So I, I transmit on the VLF band, VLF band up to uh, 1.4. Uh, let's see. And is this more static sort of accumulation, this uh, large sphere? Definitely, yes. Oh, okay. And it's under high voltage load when I turn it on, which is powered by this transformer down here, which is simply a NAMO sign transformer. All right, so what's that, like 22 kilovolts or something? Uh, 15 kilovolts. I 15 think. kilovolts, yeah. okay. I much prefer an X ray transformer because they're a lot more powerful and a lot more variable. In Voltage. Yeah, but I would be limited to spark. It's metal. Okay. From here to here. So, so you, where, where are you putting your sparks through? I got it connected to the wall here. Yep. One side and the other side connected to this bell type device. Mm -hmm. And the bell type device is, and uh, that's hanging on what? Oh, that's <laughs> the, that's the other contact, right? Yeah, that's the other side. Okay, so you effectively you're building up static on here. Mm -hmm. And then you're stimulating the passage of that static with whatever you're feeding through from the neon sign transformer. Neon sign transformer. And then you're looking for maybe either a spark gap here between these two, or not a spark gap. Not well, mostly not a spark gap. Okay. I find yeah. it very disruptive. Yeah. But under high load or high tension, and there I have a rectifier. Mm -hmm. Crudely made thing, but it does seem to. Does work. the job. But I'm considering putting a capacitor. In on line there, but uh, mm -hmm. maybe a G three cap uh, ceramic type mica is a really good one. So, so, what what would you describe as the business end? Is it is it that end or is it this end? <laughs> well, it's all around the whole thing is broadcast. And yeah, because I guess if these long bars are antenna. Oh, the whole thing is live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this shoots out direct certain waveforms that I see in my head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, so we got uh, this here, all oh, electromagnetics being twisted and formed, and mm -hmm. this here. Yeah. Okay, is is this uh, hole there for a particular reason? I mean, is it is it? Yeah, it's just to get the energy out of these plates. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this should be a very fine spacer, which it is still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not damaged. Hit the huge piece of aluminium here. Mm -hmm. Then this simply. Basically, takes all the stuff to generate a, along the whole thing mm -hmm. and forms it to a certain pattern I see in my head, kind of thing. So right, right. It, it's kind of crazy way of putting it, but again, I'm not a scientist. Yeah, yeah. Just see it and it seems to work okay. And and <laughs> this this bowl here, uh, static accumulator. Mm-hmm. It's totally insulated from uh, with this insulator. It's interesting. I notice uh, there seems to be a lot of degradation from this point oh, onwards. Oh wow! I didn't notice that. Either. I mean, serious amounts. There is a lot. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's weird. Yeah, because this is highly polished aluminium bar. So can you use zero in on that? Maybe. I can. Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna. I'll take some static shots of it. Mm, well. I haven't really noticed that before. Yeah. Yeah. That's totally messed up. It's a lot of. <laughs> Degradation. Other? So there's a little less same on this side. Here. It's on the inside, is it? Yeah. On, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This seriously changed. <laughs> well, that's okay. intriguing. I never noticed that. And if you see any patterns on here, let me know. I don't know. I think I might throw the microscope on there. Why not? Yeah. Go over. We'll have a look. I'll, I'll have a look at this with the microscope in a minute. I didn't realize how bad that was. That's pretty serious.